All right, today is a total body workout. I'm gonna work every month. All right, the first thing I did was start out with a one to two mile run. All right, the first um, giant set I did is suitcase squats. I went all the way down to the ground. With, uh, make sure you get a pair of heavy, um, pair of dumbbells. You're gonna wanna do as many reps as you can going all the way down to the ground. Like right here, I got some 90s. So you're just going down to the ground, scooting at the top suitcase squats. So you want to do at least eight to 12 reps like that. So don't afraid to go heavy on, these, on, these, on this exercise right here. Just from there, with no breaks, I went right into incline barbell press. And I, I want to, there's 225 on there, which I was going to get like seven to 10 reps of this one right here. So you go down and you do, um, make sure you're touching the chest and locking all the way out. So I did about seven reps right here. And then as soon as I finish with it with no breaks, I grab some 25 pound plates. I'm gonna do some jump squats. You're gonna go down, test the plates on the ground and explode up as high as you can. You wanna shoot, you wanna shoot for 10 reps, but if you can't get 10 reps, just do as many as you can. So as soon as, as, soon as I finish that, I set them down and I'm gonna do some jump squats without the weights. Go down, come again, and explode up. And then as soon as I finish that, I just did some regular squats just to burn out some more. Like I said, this is a total body workout. Then I want by here, I'm on some clapping push-ups. I didn't even count. I just did it to the, to the point where I got tired. I was already tired from doing all the other stuff, so I just did as many as I could. And then from now, I want some jack push-up push-ups. And I, like I did, I didn't even count. I just did. I just did it to the point where I was tired. And as soon as I, fin as soon as I finished that, I just did some regular push-ups. And then I did a total of like four rounds. And then from there, we're going into um, back and shoulders. I was doing some push-ups. I was doing a Smith machine. I'm just ch changing my hands each um, trying to hit it from different angles. I ended, I ended up doing like 12 pull-ups pull after, after I switched my hands all these different places. And then from there, I'm going to shoulder press. So instead of using dumbbells, I got the 45-pound plates. Um, it, it's going to feel weird at first, but I feel like it works the shoulders a little bit better than using dumbbells or barbells. Um, great exercise right here. I like doing this right here. But if you want to use dumbbells, that's fine. But I just use the plate. Or if the 25 is too heavy, go to the 25. And then from there, I'm going to do some more plyo work. Because you know me each one of these um, super sets, I mean giant sets, we're doing plyo work. So I started with overhand grip, underhand grip. I was rotating each time. Make sure you be careful, don't fall, don't fall and hit yourself. So you gotta hurry up and be quick and grab hands. And once I finish, I just knock out a few right here. And then I'm going back to shoulders. Another plyo, so I'm gonna do some jumping jacks with the lateral to front raise, alternating right here. Right here. Good exercise right here. Get the heart rate. Then I just get some upright rows. You wanna use anywhere from 12 to 20 pounds. You don't wanna go any heavier than that. Because then you don't wanna sacrifice form. And then from there, I wanted to arm, so I knocked out some barbell curls. Knocked out around 10 to 12 reps right here. Like I said, don't be, you don't have to go light, you can still go heavy. A lot of people try to go light when they're doing these type of exercises, but you can still go heavy. And then from there, I wanted to make my hand to a diamond shape, do some tricep jacks right here. I do about 12 to 15 right here. I'm touching the chest on the ground, locking out. Great tricep workout. I like doing a lot of body weight stuff for my triceps. I don't feel like I get the best results. Then here, there's some pop squats, just some curls right here. Squatting down, doing squats right here. Right here, we're trying to maximize, trying to do a lot of fat burning. That's what we're doing, we're trying to do a 60 day transformation. So we're doing a lot of compound movements, working more than one muscle group at one time. So right here, doing a sphinx push up. It's kind of like doing a skull crusher. I touch my elbows on the ground and press up. You could do skull crushes and then do post grip press if you like, but um, the gym was packed, so I had to, uh, and I was trying to stay in the same area, so that's why I ended up doing this exercise instead of using the, um, the skull crusher. Then I just knocked out a few tricep push ups at the end just to burn it out. Then from here, I'm going to work on some calves and, and some abs right here. So, you know, each one of these exercises, you're going, um, you're going to do four rounds. So right here, I just did, I just did calf raises. I did 10 with my toes pointing outwards, toes pointed in, and all that. So just doing 10 to 15 at each position. You can do them weighted, but like I said, the gym was crowded, so I had to just try to get, try to do it. Um, I had to do body weight ones, but I just up the, uh, up the reps. Then I right here, the jack feet to in and out abs. The way I like to work the abs, I like to do a lot of cardio movements involved in my ab workout, just to, so I feel like I'm knocking two birds out with one stone. So right here. 
like I said, doing this workout, the whole goal of this workout is to build strength and to spread up, but to try to keep your heart rate up during the whole time. So, so, you, so you maximize your cardio routine and your weightlifting and get you in out the gym. Cause you, and this is a workout you can do like two to three times a week or anything like that. This is phase one. Then I'll just right here, I'll just run through some, some hops. But the key, the key to this, when you're doing the jacks and the hops, and make sure your, your, your heels do not hit the ground. You wanna keep your, um, and so cause this is, this is the, the goal is this, to work the calves. So that's why we're staying on the toes. You let your heels hit the ground. Um, you not maximize the full calf movement. So now just finish up a little bit more. Then right here I'm going to plank toe taps. Um, opposite hand, opposite foot, tapping it out right here. Knock out about 20, 20 count rep, like 10 on each leg basically. And then for me, I just knock out a few mountain climbers just to burn it out. And then that's the workout. But right here after this, if you want to finish up, I did a metabolic finisher to do some more cardio. So this is optional, but I because like right here, some people at some people say this is a workout on zone. So the first thing I did is 10 man makers. We're gonna do three rounds of, of, the, of this whole metabolic circuit right here. You come in here, and then you're gonna press it up. The man makes so you go down, you're gonna do one push-up. One um, go on each side, then hop back up, and then shoulder press. So you want to do anywhere from five to ten reps right here. So when you, so when you stand up and press it, that's one rep. Great exercise. You don't want to go heavy. I got the twenty fives right here, but you don't want to. You can go maybe go thirties at the highest you maybe you want to go, unless you unless you just like super strong, right? and you you should be like winded and tired from this whole all the stuff we've been doing anyway. So. Press it up, and then from there, we're going to this um one of my favorite curl and press. We're working the bicep and the shoulder. If you do this this metabolic thing, your so your shoulders is going to be on fire so bad because mine's just starting to feel it right now. Like you, like I said, you're gonna do five to ten reps right here, and then you just finish up. You're gonna do just keep pressing it up, and then from there, I'm going to um some thrusters. You can squat down, press up. Like I said, you're doing like three shoulder exercises back to back, combined with push-ups and all this other things. So now your shoulders are working, legs are working, core is working, your heart rate's getting up, you're burning fat. Now the next exercise is gonna do what another good exercise we're gonna do right here. We're gonna do a stiff-legged deadlift, working a hamstring, bent over rope to a tr to a kickback. So working a hamstring, the the back, and your triceps all all the same time right here. So get that good stretch. Row it and kick it back. That's why you don't want to do. The reason why I didn't try to go heavy, so you can um, so you can complete all the, you can do all the exercises with no break. And then, um, that's the goal right here. Squeeze up and kick back. Maintain good form. Come out each time. You want to do five to ten reps to this. A great exercise right here. Make sure you're keeping your core tight. And then from there, I did the, the last exercise in the this middle box circuit. You can do three rounds of this, like I said. You can do. I know we did a lot of push-ups, we do a tuck-in with a push-up. So your lower abs are working, your chest is working, shoulders are working, triceps are working, basically everything is working, heart rate is up. This is how you shape your body. We 60 day transformation, we do three rounds of minute ball fetish, and that's the whole workout. So I suggest this workout two or three times a week. Um, along with some fetish stuff, that would be great. You can do anywhere.